Hello guys, welcome to Knowledge India. In this particular tutorial, I'll show you the process of setting up your own AWS account. How can you go ahead and uh, create a new AWS account? What are some quick things which you need to take care of while you are doing that? So you need to go to aws.amazon.com, go to AWS Management Console, and you can go ahead and say create a new AWS account. You would need an email address which you are going to specify and you'll also have to put your uh, mobile phone which they'll go ahead and verify okay so please keep that handy so i'm going to go ahead and fill all those details here you can put whatever name you want in the account name that doesn't matter much but the email address has to be unique so understand that with one email address you'll be able to create only one aws account so I'll fill all of this. So you can see that uh, the password has got some restrictions. So please make sure that you put the password in that manner. All right, and we'll go ahead and give it some name. I'm going to call it KI2 and we'll say continue. All right, now up to you that whether it is for professional purpose or for personal. Well, it doesn't make much difference, but the point is that uh, if you are using it for your own purpose go ahead and make it personal and that way you can you know you can just go ahead and choose the choose the basic support plan which i will show you as we move forward so go ahead and choose personal go ahead and give a phone number you need to choose the country some address your country region uh, selection cannot be changed after creating the account why is it so because as you might know already uh, legally uh, within india aws operates with a different entity called aispl so if you choose your country as india your account goes to aispl well functionality wise it it would not be any different uh, you can go ahead and create your resources in all the different regions it is just that based on the address and based on the details which you fill while creating the account, your account either goes to AISPL or AWS worldwide basically, right? So that's the difference. So after that, you need to go ahead and give uh, your address. You can go ahead and put whatever you want. Just after filling the details, put this tick mark and press create account and continue. Now, uh, some of you have this question that um, can we use a uh, debit card as well to create our accounts? Now, uh, it's understandable because uh, in case of students, uh, it, it is it is a bit difficult to actually you know to actually have credit card. So, well, at least in case of India, yes, it it's possible. You can go ahead and specify your debit card as well right it's possible so just go ahead and put your debit card number expiration date and cardholders name and after that uh, you have to just choose you know either you want to keep the billing address as the same one which you have specified or you want to give a new one and if you want you can go ahead and specify your pan numbers now if you are uh, you know you are using this account for an organization or you want to utilize the bill which has come from this account for some purpose uh, it might make sense that you can go ahead and give PAN or else it doesn't matter. So I'll just go ahead and give the credit card number and date and move forward. As you can see here, I've been redirected to uh, to my credit card organization's page where I need to go ahead and put the OTP which I have received. Just give it a while and after that it asks you to basically submit um, this CAPTCHA and after that it, you will get a call to confirm your mobile number.
verified your PIN. Please return to Amazon Web Services to complete your registration. Thank you for your interest in Amazon Web Services. Goodbye. So as you just heard, I got a call and I have verified the mobile number. Go ahead and press continue. Now here is the important thing and the last step in your account creation. Uh, you will be asked to select a support plan. Understand that all the other plans other than the basic one costs you some money per month. So don't go for developer or business if you are using it for your own learning purpose. Just go ahead and select free. Right? And... Uh, if you are creating the account for your big organization, then you have enterprise level support as well. All right. So that's it. So our account has been created. Great. Now these are just some general stuff. If you go ahead and press on sign into the console, let us see if you are able to get inside. Okay. It is asking me to try and log in again, which I will do. All right, great guys. So as you can see, I am successfully logged in to this newly created account. I've just created this account in front of you. Uh, when I gave my credit card number, a deduction of two rupees happened on the card, but but they reverted back, right? And also, to, uh, please understand with every new account, uh, you will get uh, free tier benefits. The complete details of free tier benefits are already there on another video in our channel. Uh, you will get to see the link at the last. So please go ahead and understand that what all benefits you get um, as part of the free tier account for 12 months and use this account for your practicals in the best possible way. Okay, I will explain you more in another video that how can you go ahead and basically club this account in, in an AWS organization setup. So please, please keep watching and subscribe to the channel to receive all the updates. Thank you. Bye-bye.